Hi friends, so we are at the storage unit dropping off some wood that we had on our racks in the garage because we didn't have enough room for all of the walnut that we're about to put in our garage. So, we took a little adventure. Tight turn. We make it? Yes. We made it. Everybody's intact. As you can see, it barely fits. The door just shuts, but we need that commercial space. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're done there. So now we're gonna head back home and finish up some chores we've been doing for the day. Davis designed those consoles this morning and ordered all the wood. And I've just been on the phone all day. Oh my gosh, we're gonna head over. <laughs> we're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, well, now it's time- you have food on your face. I'm sorry. Well, now it's time to go get the lumber for the two console tables. Yes. And despite what my shirt says, it is gonna be some very necessary walnut. Very necessary walnut. I did not wear this shirt just to make that joke. Just to make that clear. I believe him. It's hot. Very hot. Well, we got all the plywood. Yes. Uh, we got all of the hardwood, and it was a pretty uneventful $1,000 trip to the hardwood store <laughs> yes. yet again. As it goes. Yeah. I'm done for the day. I'm tired. I need a nap. Yes. And some ice cream. I was just about to say that. All right, new day, new Bucky shirt. The goal today is to break down the lumber we got the other day. I need Jenny's help for that because I don't have a shop hand anymore. And uh, this is heavy. We're at this weird part where like, we need to be in a commercial space so we can hire people to help out, but like, we're just not. So we're like sort of sharing responsibilities even though we've split up yeah. the responsibility. It, it's weird. Things will never be more hectic than they are now. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to measure how long we need to cut all these panels. So I say we use the table, we'll sort of line them up in the width that we need, and then I'll just start marking out where we need to cut it on the miter saw. Okay. And then from there, I can make the panels myself. So I can just cut all this down, put it off to the side, and then we can get the plywood going, and then you can go back to your okay. regularly scheduled programming. Perfect. nicest piece of walnut plywood because we're actually going to make the record player cabinet out of walnut plywood. So I want to find the nicest sheet so that when we cut off the tops and the bottoms that we have the nicest looking sheet. Alright, well of course the nicest piece is the third one. Closest so to the back. I don't know how we're going to shuffle it around, but um, luckily for you, you just get to see a time lapse. You don't have to lift it yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
you for helping. You're welcome. You're done. Thanks. You're released. Okay, good morning. So I know it's super loud in the background because Davis is building those two custom walnut consoles. But what am I doing? Oh my gosh, this is so loud. <laughs> That was obnoxious. Okay, welcome back to recap. Today, Davis is out in the shop uh, building those two walnut consoles, which is why it's kind of noisy in the background. Um, so I thought I'd take you along my journey today. Um, and today is board day. Today is the day where we send boards out to leads or people we want to know us or people we want as clients. So I'll be doing a lot of fulfillment and engraving today. So it should be a lot of fun. I've got my Starbucks. Today is the first day they're doing the pumpkin spice lattes. So that's what we did this morning. We ran out and got some, just a fun little pick me up to prepare for board day. Um, so yeah, let's go. When the Starbucks kicks in and you hit max productivity. So I'm trying to do this little like pattern variation on the Instagram feed where I do like white backdrop, black backdrop, and I vary like vary it from black to white to make a little checkerboard pattern. We'll see how it goes. I always think it looks so cute when other people do it in their Instagram feed and figured I'd give it a try. So far I'm three out of three. Well, it is starting to get hot in here, so I have very limited amount of things to do before it just gets unbearable. So uh, I think I'm gonna get all the plywood pieces, cut those down to final size on the table saw, and then stack those up out of the way neat and nice, and then I can worry about joining and making my glue ups for the TV cabinet, which is all gonna be made out of solid wood. So eventually what's gonna happen and when we're in the commercial space is that all projects are going to have their own little cart and you're gonna have the plans and all of the pieces for the furniture are gonna be on one cart together. So you can take breaks. I can push this against the wall somewhere in a waiting area in the shop and not be bothered with having it cluttering up the whole space, which is really what I'm running into right now is because I can't use the joiner until I get all that stuff out of the way. I can't use the table saw with a lot of wood in the, it's just, it's a nightmare. So two projects at once is really, oh, about all this shop can handle and even then I'm spending way too much time shuffling things around instead of building. So let's have a little chat about our shop and our living room and both spare bedrooms and sometimes the backyard. Basically, our whole house. So we've been living in this house and we've been running two businesses out of it for about two years now. And while we're very thankful for it, it's too small. Are we getting everything done that we need to get done? Yes. But is it taking us twice the time it should be taking us to get it all done? Yes. And if we're gonna run a business and be accountable to time management and efficiency, we just can't be doing that. The last thing we want is to hire employees and then half of the pay we're giving them is because they're spending hours moving things around in the shop. We don't want them to be spending time moving things around, we want them to spend their time working. And they don't wanna be moving stuff around either because it's annoying. We're hiring them to build, we're not hiring them to shuffle things around. And over the last two years, we've been buying industrial sized tools because we've known that eventually they were going to go into a commercial space. And now we've been doing that with enough tools that the shop is busting at the seams. 
So this week and specifically this project has really made us start thinking about a commercial space more seriously. It's been our goal, it's been our North Star for a long time and it's really kind of exciting to like think that we can like start thinking about it more seriously. Because now we're trained up with our Air Force jobs. We won't be leaving for a massive amount of time. We've got the cash flow in place that we could probably lean on it a little bit more. And we've got some savings now in the business. So we're prepared to pay rent for a few months if we have a slow period. I think it's finally time that we can start to consider expanding beyond the garage and the living room and both bedrooms and the storage unit. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.